Um, one of the things that lots of people um, seem to struggle with a lot is um, emotions. And life for many people, perhaps for yourself, can be all sorts of ups and downs. Maybe you find yourself disappointed, upset, um, angry, um, uh, apathetic. All sorts of different emotions. Uncertain, frightened, possessive, <laughs> overly excited, let down. Add any word to that list, really. Maybe you just find that your emotions are all over the place. One minute it's a good day, the next minute it seems to be a bad day. And I meet lots of people like that, you know. Sometimes speak to people, the contacts and people I know, and one minute everything's great, Rashid, this and that's happening, and then the next minute this isn't happening, I'm really down, I'm so disappointed, why isn't this happening, and so on. And um, to me it's all whether um, the... the, the the analogy that I often refer to um, for lots of people is relating life to weather and, and relating these emotions that we have to weather because there is a very strong notion that when you feel a particular way upset, sad, disappointed or whatever the emotion might well be that, that you should somehow be feeling another emotion positive, optimistic and so on and it's complete rubbish um, and there's a lot of work done trying to make people be positive and all the rest of it. It's complete nonsense. Complete nonsense. And lots of it happens even in and around the field that I work in. But it's absurd that all these different emotions will come and, and go. It's part of the weather of life. Take a look outside. One minute it may be sunny, the next minute it may be cloudy, the next minute it may be stormy, the next day it may be showery, the next minute it may be overcast. That is the nature of life. That is the nature of the weather. Can man change it? Can you change it? No. And yet still many people spend time, oh, today's a miserable day, and so on. Miserable? Or do you mean overcast or rainy? <laughs> today's a great day, and, th and so on. And then the next day it's showery, oh no, the weather's so disappointing. So it's quite interesting. There are those people who um, have a problem with the weather, and they're probably going to have a problem with life. The weather is just the weather. And then there could be other people who just accept that the weather, the external weather, is just the weather that happens to be, you know, that they realise that one day may be sunny and then later on the same day it may be rainy or showery and so on. That is the nature of life. And sometimes you have prolonged periods where it's sunny and sometimes you have prolonged periods where it's cold and so on. That is the nature of life. In different areas, those seasons and those different weather systems will tend to last for longer. In some areas, they'll last for a shorter period of time, but all the different weather will still uh, um, be experienced. And therefore, similarly, within us, the different um, weather, the different types of emotion will be experienced within us. The people who are most happy, joyful, content, and these just, of course, are just words, are the people who just realize that, they accept that, they just know, they just notice, they just know that that's what goes on. One minute one will be excited, the next minute one will be lower and so on. That just is how it is. There's nothing magical about that. These people just realize and embrace life as it is. That's it. They realize that it is just all weather. All the stuff that's going on in your life is just all weather. And guess what? The strange thing, the gift of life, is that you're probably going to learn more from the showery weather, the stormy weather, the difficulties, the disappointments, than you will from the sunny days, the bright emotions, the happier times. That's the gift that those so-called things that we don't want, those darker things that we call, will, will bring. Um, we all know that we go and we come, we come and we go, there will be good health, there will be ill health and so on. That is the nature of life. That is the nature of life. And of course, there will be things that we do and we don't like. There will be different seasons that we do seem to, um, that we do t uh, tend to be more drawn to. I happen to quite like the autumn and so on. But um, I'll be foolish to just hang on to just autumn because sooner or later, guess what? Winter's going to come and summer and spring and they all have their different um, value and so on. So there is this idea that somehow we can change our emotions. Perhaps it's a case that we, can, we will often, you might find that yourself that you are um, far more in balance with the different seasons, with those different emotions. But you're not necessarily going to be able to change those emotions. There's a big um, myth there. You just try it. You just try. Try and, um, try and exclude um, feeling down, negative, disappointed, angry and all that. Try and exclude it completely. See how long you last. Some sunset will emerge. If you do want to change those kind of emotions, strangely, the embracing 
of those different emotions, the embracing of the different seasons, is what will bring wisdom, which is what will bring contentment. You'll be at ease, bring appreciation, because you appreciate and therefore you grow. You acknowledge and therefore you grow, you appreciate. And that's it. That's the whole story of our emotional turmoil. Some parts of the world are more inclined to certain types of weather. Some of us may well be more inclined to certain types of moods, perhaps, or to certain types of emotions, or, or perhaps there's a, a, a more of a, a, a greater change of emotions. Some, some, some climates are far more, um, the, the, the weather system is far more um, um, stable. That's part of life. You know, I do some work with, um, you know, sometimes I work with people who will have and will be labelled with um, certain challenges, um, emotional, what have you. Um, and again, um, even there, you know, where one can just have that space to stop and appreciate and acknowledge, you know, this is who I am. This is how I find myself. These are the emotions that seem to be going on. Um, and to be accepting and mindful of that means that sometimes that pressure <laughs> that you should be somehow other um, can, can disperse. And therefore, again, more contentment, more being at ease, more being peaceful can happen. So even our notions around things like mental health, I think, are, are, are very often flawed because what we call our baseline for mental health is not a baseline for what I would call mental health. The fact that we have one emotion and we think that we should be feeling another emotion and that we're constantly not content with what's going on. We want to be this, we want to be that, we want to be happy all the time. To me, that you couldn't possibly call that good mental health. <laughs> you couldn't really, you know. You wouldn't be a good farmer if it was one season and so on. You're wanting it constantly to be a different season if it was rainy and you wanted it to be sunny. No, good, a good farmer is the kind of farmer that, that appreciates a different season and they'll prepare in one season and they'll reap in another um, uh, season. They'll plant things in one season. They'll be doing other bits of work in another season. They'll flow with the seasons because they know that's the only way in order to get the best out of the land. It's the same thing for ourselves by appreciating those different emotions and so on, those different feelings and those different drivers, we're able to flow and naturally flow. We're just not blocking what naturally is. Somehow we feel as though we're somehow separate from nature. We are of nature, nature is of us. That's it, that's the whole story, that's the whole deal. Um, and it comes from just watching and, and being mindful and embracing. You know, I often say, well, this, this thing, it just came to me once, this, this, this quote, you know, that, that, that life embraces those who embrace life because we are of life. Somehow we think that we're separate from life. We're not separate from life. It's this that causes the conflict when we're fighting the weather. We forget that we are of the weather and the weather is of us. The emotions, we are the emotions, the emotions are of us. It's just how things that kind of rise and fall, um, you know, aspects of life and, and, and even and even that you know I wouldn't get too kind of caught up in that you know because on the other hand you you could perhaps say that uh, you know maybe you're just like the sky and sometimes the different types of weather will emerge in the, in the sky sometimes there'll be clouds there sometimes there won't be clouds there sometimes it's raining sometimes it's not so perhaps we are what's before between and beyond but it still is of this oneness that it is that we are and by noting accepting embracing that's what, where the peace emanates from. We don't need to necessarily analyze it or focus on it or try and work out because I don't know about you, I don't know, I went to school and I was told stuff about the weather systems, but I don't understand it. I just know that that's how it is. And likewise with people and emotions, I just realize that's how it is and how it plays out. And I do realize also that when one wants a peace with oneself and one's accepting of others, that that's where this joyfulness, this peacefulness, this cooperation, this collaboration, being content, however it is that you want, whether it is that you want peace for yourself selfishly, or whether it is that you want things for other people, it can only be arrived at in the same way by accepting and by appreciating life and embracing oneself. And then you realize that you are related, you're interrelated, interconnected to the rest of the ecosystem of life. And wow, that's quite amazing, because therefore somehow we're sustained by it. I wish you all the best.
Thank you for listening.